Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today's video is going to be makeup unboxing video for you. These came a little bit late this month, but I'm still excited to do it. And I also did two little experiments for this video. So I have the regular Ipsy Glam bag here, as well as two Ipsy Glam bag pluses. One came in a box, one came in a bag. Um, I have one under my normal profile, which came from Ipsy. And I also ordered one under my boyfriend's name with no profile preferences. So we're gonna see the difference in those. I also have have um, another BoxyCharm Premium. We did a BoxyCharm video earlier in the month. I'll leave it linked down below. But I have a BoxyCharm Premium I also under, ordered under my boyfriend's name, but I did set preferences for this one to give me like a good variety. I just kind of said makeup and skincare. Don't give me like lifestyle stuff for the BoxyCharm preferences. But today we're doing a lot of unboxing. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, guys, so the Box of Charm Premium, we already unboxed one this month, is $35 a month. The regular Ipsy bag is $10 a month, and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is $25 a month. Is it $25 a month? Is it I think it's $25 a month. I think I paid $25 for that. But that's what we're testing out today. I did get sent the little Ipsy bag as well as one of the boxes from Ipsy directly, so I want to thank them for that. I'm going to exchange my review, and now let's get started with the little Ipsy Glam, glam, glam Bag? Glam Bag. <laughs> so this month we have like a dream theme in here. The little bag says dream all over it. And I quite like the little light blue color to it. So I'm going to pull everything out of here so we can see the bag better. Just this dream, one highlighted blue dream in the middle there. It's a cute bag. I actually really like that. And also for being January, it's very bright. So I like that a lot. So first thing we have here is a little mini thing from Origins. It is an original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay. This is the first thing here. It is very cute. I don't mind having like a small amount of masks. I really don't use that much at a time anyways. I don't cake that stuff on, so that's pretty good. Next up, we have a lip product. So this is from Stila. I've never tried their lip product. You guys can let me know if they're good down below. I don't mind this kind of pinky color. It's not super in your face. This is the color Patina, but here is the little mini lip product. That one's cute. I kind of like that. So, so far, so good. We have two other things that look like they're full size. The first thing is from Cover FX. This is something we've gotten in boxes before. It is their Shimmer Veil. So this is Soleil, the color Soleil. Let's see what ooh, color this is. Okay, so ooh, I kind of like this kind of bronzy, warm bronze color. So here is the Shimmer Veil from Cover FX. Really cute. Let's go ahead and give it a swatch because I love liquid shadows. So here is the color swatched out, kind of an orangey, pinky, slightly bronze color. Really cute, so I'm just gonna leave that to dry. It's more pink the more it hits the light. Cute. Okay, lastly in here we have something from Uoma Beauty, which I've never gotten anything from them in a subscription box before. I love their foundation though, you guys. Their foundation is so good. Their color range of their concealers is crap if you have fair skin. Even though I don't look fair with this hair. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, but like their foundation is so good. So this is Drama Bomb. It's their mascara. A little mini of their oh this is cute packaging so this is their little it's not focusing the little mini mascara so overall our ipsy glam bag was pretty cute for ten dollars i'm kind of into it so we have the little mini mascara we have a shimmer veil a little mini mask and a mini lip product as well as a bag so overall cute glam bag this month great start to the new year for them and now let's get into the ipsy glam bag pluses which i have two of so next up is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is the one that I was sent in exchange for review. So here's the inside. I opened up the card. It just tells everybody to share their looks and everything. It says the Dream It theme for this month. And there is no card inside to tell me the retail price of these things. So I will look them up and let you know. I'll put it on the screen for you. But here is the inside of the box. When you move this, there's some stuff under there. So let's get started with this first thing, which I've gotten before. I don't know if it was an Ipsy or what, but I've gotten this in subscription boxes before. It's a La Rouge brush set. La Roche, La Rouge. Again, I don't want to break the packaging to get into it, but it's just a set of three face brushes in here. I'm just, yeah, it's a brush set. I get brushes so much in switching boxes. Like, there's no way I could ever use the amount of brushes that people send in boxes. Like, if you have more than just a Dipsy or a BoxyCharm or both, if you have more than just those two boxes, you have a ton of brushes. Like, a lot of smaller indie subscription boxes that I have um, send a lot of, like, colorful, fun, unicorn -y brushes and stuff. So I get a lot of brushes. Um, besides the ones that I buy myself, which is usually just Sigma because to your warranty and I'm an affiliate. Um, so next up in here is from Pixie Beauty. Ooh, this looks cute. So this is the Nuisance Quadrant, which is a blush. It's a kind of a cheek palette. It's a multi-use cheek palette. So I want to see, this is in Sugar Blossom. I want to see 
what kind of tones they have in here. They have these little palettes like this. These are also sold in Target. I think I have this. So here's the inside of the face palette. The highlighter looks so much prettier on the box with this nice light, light shade. Uh, it's a lot darker in the pan, but this is the next thing in here, which is cute. But I think I have this. Next up in here, let's see the bag, which is another Dream It bag, which the other one was clear, had a little zipper. This one is like a little pull tie, pull tab? Drawstring bag. <laughs> Drawstring bag. It's cute though. I do like the blue color of it. Next up in here, we have something small. So this is a Maki Acai Prickly Pear Glow Oil from Youth to the People. So it's a little face oil box. There, this better be a free thing. It better not count as my, part of my full-size items. <laughs> but here you go. This is the next thing in here. I mean, I don't care if it's in this box. If it's in the other one, I'm going to be mad because I paid $35 or $25 for that. But this one's cute. But a glow oil, I don't know what you do with it. Do you add it to your foundation? Do you use it as a topper like I use the primer oil from Smashbox as like to top off my foundation when it's set and everything to get rid of excess oils? I don't know. I'm not the most experienced with glowy products, you guys. Like I love a highlight um, and I'm wearing a luminous foundation today. But I use matte stuff usually, which is not good because I have dry skin. Next up in here is from Wander Beauty. It's been a minute since we saw them. Wander Beauty came to be kind of like a joke for people who have a lot of subscription boxes um, because they're always in subscription boxes. So it's good that we had a break from them for a while, but they do have some good stuff. Like their foundation is really nice. So this is a lips treatment oil from Wander Beauty. It is in the shade Oasis, which is just clear. So that looks like this. It is just a regular little lip, lip oil treatment. What do you do with a lip oil? Is it like a lip balm or a lip gloss? See, oil things, I, two oil things in a row, I'm just like, I don't know what you do with this. <laughs> Next up in here is something from Kinship. It is a Naked Papaya Enzyme Facial Cleanser. It's very small in this one, so um, I'll just show you what it looks like on the box. So here is the Kinship Cleanser. It's very tiny, very tiny. I feel like there's a lot of small stuff in this box. Uh, lastly in here, we have something from Cella. We've gotten a lotion from them before. So. This is a soothing hand and body butter with lavender and oatmeal. Lavender and oatmeal sell, smell, sounds refreshing. I'm not really a lavender person myself, but oatmeal sounds okay to me. So together it sounds okay. But here is the hand cream. It's also, I really like this packaging. Um, I feel like it's nice. It's very fancy and it's cold to the touch. So let's go over everything that we got in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus this month. I feel like the little Ipsy bag might've been better just because I'm more familiar with a lot of those brands. And yeah, I don't know, we had Steel and Cover Effects in there. I'm not really sure how I feel about this box in particular, but we have a full-size hand cream. We have a small mini cleanser, we have a full-size lip treatment, a small mini oil, a face palette from it, or Pixie, and we have three brushes. So overall, it's okay. Like the brushes and the Pixie palette are nice. Um, I don't mind getting like the lip oil or the hand cream, but I feel like these two things are pretty small to be in here, but overall, it's not the worst. Definitely not the worst box I've ever had. Let's move on to the one that I paid for and put under Cortland's name. All right, so here is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. In this card, we have this one that says you can get the, gl the Glam Bag X, which is eight full-size products. You choose three of them. It's worth under 428 worth of value. If you guys want me to sign up for this Glam Bag X, let me know. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like 50 a month, but I feel like they discontinued the Ultimate, so I don't know how much that bag is. But $428 is a lot of money. Um, worth of value and it has Patrick Todd's IGK in here. It has uh, Huda Beauty in here. So this looks interesting. Let me know if you guys want me to sign up for that. So this is the NC Glam Bag Plus again. We have the same bag, which I expected, but the preferences, I don't remember what I said, but it's not my normal profile or I didn't set them at all. So I'm going to pull everything out of here. All right, and let's get started. We have another card that tells you to share your looks. So Again, I'll put the prices on the screen for you if I can find the retail prices for these things because I don't know them off the top of my head and there's no card. But this is from Thrive Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Um, this is the Brilliant Eye Brightener Highlighting Stick with Ring Light Technology in the shade Aura. What Ring Light, like, ring light Technology sounds fake for a makeup product because Ring Light is just a light that goes around a ring. There's no technology there. Um, but this is the Eye Brightening Stick. This is gonna be way too dark for me personally. Um, I do like the packaging. I think it's a cute um, packaging. I like the color matching the actual color itself. 
Um, but this is the eye brightening stick, which is our first thing, but it's a full size product. Chris's pro tip is to apply above and below eyebrows for instant eye lift. Maybe you should try that. Next up in here is something from Billion Dollar Brows, which every time I get something from them, I'm kind of like, eh, because it's never like great stuff that I've tried for, and I don't remember any, like loving any of their stuff. Um, but this is the breast, bleh, best brow tool kit ever. And actually this is okay. I'm not, I'm not bummed out about this. Usually when it's like, oh, they're brow pencils and stuff, I'm like, oh, another brow pencil. But like, I don't mind like beauty tools so much. We never really get those. And I need a new pair of manicure scissors anyways. So we have a little pair of mini scissors, tweezers, and an eyebrow brush. Again, I like I said, I'm not really thrilled about getting stuff from this brand, but I don't mind this in particular. I'm so glad if it's from them, it's not another brow pencil. So this is not bad. I really need, a, I've had the same pair of little baby, actually I have them right here. I've had the same pair of little baby manicure scissors. This same pair since I was in high school and I'm 26 now. I bought them from Five Below in like a little case, like when I was in high school, when I was like 17. So I, I've been trying to retire these for years, but I never think to buy another pair. And <laughs> I've had them forever. Okay, next up in here, I guess I can throw those away now and I have a new pair of manicure scissors. Next up in here is a good highlighting highlighter duo, Lux Cream to Powder for a soft focus. It doesn't, it just has a C. Okay, it's complex culture. I was like, there's no, there's no brand name on this. Um, but let's see what this highlighting thing has to do with. Um, the other, so in the other box we had, we had this brand La Rouge. Very kind of similar packaging on this. So let's see this highlighter cream to powder duo. So this compact is very nice. Very much reminds me of a pure palette we got in a Ipsy a while back. Um, and then here's a little thing that tells us to use a brush with it. Because somehow it's, I need something to tell me to use a brush with it. But here's the inside of the duo. It's very cute. I couldn't really use this color myself, but this shade looks really pretty. But I don't know why there's a little card in here that tells... Oh, it plays well with their fancy complex highlight brush is what this little card says, but it's hard to see. Um, but yeah, this is cute. I like the fancy packaging on it. It looks very well made and very luxurious. So I'm curious as like looking up the retail value of this one. But this is the next thing in here. So we have two things left in here. One is something we got in the regular Ipsy bag, which was only $10 a month. So this came in there. This is the Celestial Shimmer Veil. I've had this shade before, but I don't know what happened to it. Um, so this is the Celestial shade. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one as well, since I swatched the other one. And I love liquid highlighters, or not liquid highlighters, liquid eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep them. Um, this one's not really as a pigmented. I kind of had like a void in the center there, but... This is the Shimmer Veil in Aurora, which I got a long, 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 long time ago. Oh, Celestial. Aurora is the other one. Celestial. I got this a long, long, long time ago, but I don't know what happened to it. So these are the two Shimmer Veils that we got. These are two different variations you could get in your Ipsy, no matter your bag, apparently. And um, this is cute. So I'm not mad at this. Not even mad at this. Most people are not going to get both bags. So you're not going to get two of them, probably. And the last thing in here we have is from Beauty For Real. And it is a high def volumizing mascara. I feel like we get a lot of mascaras in boxes. However, I don't really get mad at having mascaras in boxes because you're supposed to change your mascara every three months. And I feel like a lot of people neglect to do that. So here is the mascara. I'm not going to open it so it doesn't dry out. But we have a full size mascara as our last item. So let's go over everything we got in this Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So we have our bag for the month. We have a full size mascara. We have a full size shimmer veil from Cover FX. We have a highlighter duo, which feels very fancy. We have a little kit from Billion Dollar Brows, which I'm actually happy about. And then we also have a highlighter eye uh, brightening thing. So overall, not bad at all, especially since I don't know like what kind of preferences I set for this bag. I just wanted to see how different it'd be from like their standard bag that they send out. So overall, I'm kind of impressed with it. And now let's move on to the BoxyCharm Premium that I ordered this month. All right, BoxyCharm Premium. We already unboxed one. I will leave it the video linked down below. And I've also unboxed their base box. It was really good. So I'm excited to have another one this month for this experiment. So here is the inside of the BoxyCharm Premium. We have a little card that tells us the retail prices. I will tell you the retail prices of these items. Ipsy, please put cards back in your thing. I know it technically saves paper, but a lot of people like are gonna, if they don't like the products, be like, oh, there's not much value and here they'll be disappointed. So if you get a card, you know, you know what you're getting. I know you can look on their app and stuff and it'll tell you what's coming in the bag or what the retail value is it and stuff. I just like having a physical card. I'm sorry if it makes me selfish. This is a fresh start theme for this month as well. So here is the inside, like I said, 
let's start off with this thing. So it's like a PMD makeup eraser. This is a little, just, it's like a makeup eraser, but not the same brand. This retails for $30, which again is a lot of money. We also got that in the last box. So I'm not excited. I'm not surprised to see that. Another thing that we have in here that we got in the last box that I unboxed from them is this little over face palette, which I've been loving you guys. I've been using it a ton actually, just for the center thing and the blush. So here is the inside of the face palette that we get. I've been using this entire wheel as well as this blush right here. Super, super pretty face palette. I love Ofra, so I'm excited to see them in here. This palette retails for $39. Like, I don't know if anybody, there's such a variety of colors in there. I don't know if anybody will be disappointed in that. It's so cute. Next up in here is something we did not get before. So this is a Lashes MD Eyelash and Eyebrow Conditioner. So it's just vitamins on a spoolie. Um, I, it's so lightweight. It feels like there's nothing in here, but we have a little eyebrow conditioner, which is weird. Uh, it's an eyelash growth serum apparently, but it retails for $69.95. There's no way, y'all. There's no way, $69.95. Don't mind getting in a box, again, because you're not paying nearly that much for the box and you get tons of stuff in there, but I would never pay that much for a lash serum, ever. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I wear fake lashes anyway, so, so. Uh, next up here is something from Laura Mercier, which I'm always happy to see. This is her Caviar Eye Color Stick. I have a white one of these, I think. So this is the color Ginger. This product retails for $29. It's just a kind of nudie kind of color. And here is the color stick. I'm not gonna swatch it just because I'm personally not gonna use this probably. Just this. I color sticks don't, I feel like they're gonna be so patchy. Like they're gonna crease on my lid and I'm not gonna love it. So I feel like it'd be really good for right under here where I put liquid shadow just to brighten up the under eyes, but that kind of color is not going to do it for me. So, yeah, uh, it looks like we have, Ooh, we have two things in here left. So this thing, I didn't get in the other one. It is a Tarte, uh, Maru Maruka Miracle Mist. Uh, this retails for $23. This is a setting spray, you guys. I love setting sprays. So I'm excited about this one. Honestly, like let's go ahead and try it out. Mm, I love fine mist. It smells refreshing. It smells kind of floral, which isn't really my vibe, but it's not overwhelming, so I really don't mind it. It's kind of nice. Uh, we got setting spray. I love setting sprays. <laughs> I love setting sprays. And lastly in here is something that I already have. Um, it's the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I got an email from BoxyCharm yesterday saying that like uh, some from Summer Fridays, one of their partners, this partner, made a statement saying like, there shouldn't be any problems with it. I was like, that's weird. Does someone have a problem with it? Um, but this retails for $48 and it's just a face mask. So I'll just show you what the jet lag mask looks like. We get so many masks in boxes, you guys. Like I don't mind the mini one we got in the Ipsy uh, regular bag for $10, but I don't need a million masks, but this is what it looks like. And it's so, so cold to the touch. It's ridiculous. But overall, that was the BoxyCharm Premium. And now let's go over everything that we got. So we got a full size mask that retails for $48. We have a $69.95 value lash serum and eyebrow serum apparently with a $29 la uh, eye shadow stick thing. We have a $23 Tarte setting spray. We have a $30 makeup removing cloth as well as a, I forgot the value of this, $39 face palette from Ofra, which is so, so cute. So overall, Again, just like I said in the BoxyCharm video where you unbox it the first time, even though it says different stuff in it, really worth the value. I really loved it. I also thought the Ipsy's, the little mini bag was probably the best out of the Ipsy's that I unboxed today, but like I'm not disappointed in anything in the Ipsy Pluses, especially because those are $25 and this BoxyCharm Premium is $35. I feel like for $25, you're still getting a good value from Ipsy. And like the mini bag was really good this month because like you get steely, you get over it, like it was really good. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know what your favorite one was down below one was one one was down below and uh thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye